what is dy by dx so when y is a function of x dy by dx is the derivative of x so this exactly means is change in y that is delta y with respect to change in x so let's discuss what is dy by dx with the help of an example we write dy by dx where y is equal to x square when y is equal to x square we write dy by dx is 2x so let's take this example and solve how it is now so as I told earlier dy by dx is delta y by delta x where delta x is tending to 0 so delta x is infinitesimal or infinitely very small so that delta x tends to 0 now for this example where y is equal to x square dy by dx is 2x so let's see how we arrive at 2x so y is equal to x square so the change in x let this change in x be delta x now what is y1 y1 will be x plus delta x square so change in y that is dy is equal to now let me write this dy by dx is equal to x plus delta x square minus x square so change in y that is y once minus y by change in x that is x plus delta x minus delta x sorry minus x so this will give where again let me put here delta x is tending to 0 it's almost very very small infinitesimal you can write this x square plus delta x square plus 2x delta x minus x square by x plus delta x minus x let me write direct it as delta x so x square x square cancels so I'll get delta x square plus 2x delta x but again delta x as a tool is very very small and infinitesimal so this will tend to 0 now this will go we are left with 2x delta x by delta x this is equal to 2 x for dy by dx is equal to 2x where y is equal to x square where y is equal to x square okay now let us study this with the help of a curve now let us take let me plot a graph here okay this is x and this is y so what is the relation we have chosen y is equal to x square so when y x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 
y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 that is x square x is equal to 3 y is equal to 9 x is equal to 4 y is equal to 16 and so on so let me draw here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so on So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, for this relation, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Similarly, when x is equal to 3, y is equal to somewhere 9 here. So I'll get somewhere, I'll get a curve like this. I'll get a curve like this I'm sorry okay now for this curve I want to find slope at any point let me choose this point where this point where x is equal to 2 so this is okay this is the line now me extend further something like this this is the line so I have to find slope for this now right so our relation says what is dy by dx our relation says dy by dx is when this is the relation y is equal to x square then dy by dx is equal to 2x so I want to find curve slope at uh, the juncture where x is equal to 2 now so where I want to find dy by dx where x is equal to 2 at this relation so what is the relation what is dy by dx as I told you it is 2x then it should be 4 so let's see now so let me take x is equal to 2 and delta x I can choose infinitesimal that is infinitely very very small value but here I am taking uh, for understanding I am taking point zero zero one. so y is equal to 2 square that is 4 then what is y1 y1 it is 2 point 0 0 1 square that is 4.004001 so x is equal to 2 delta x is equal to 0 0.001 what is dy by dx now so dy by dx is change in y that is 4.004001 is y1 minus 4 divided by what is change in x delta x that is I have chosen it as point zero zero one so that is equal to that is equal to see point zero zero four zero zero one by point zero zero one that is close to four which is two x so dy by dx is two x so let me put here what is it we have chosen y is equal to x square so dy by dx is 2x so and the values I have chosen is x is equal to 2 and dy by dx from this we are getting dy by dx as 4 that's how dy by dx we are arriving at 
4 that is dy by dx is 2x. Similarly, let me take what is dy by dx for any other relation like y is equal to sin x. For this we write dy by dx is equal to cos x. How are we going to arrive at cos x? Again going to the same relation taking delta x infinitesimal small that is delta x turning to 0. So what is dy by dx that is change in y now. So y is equal to sin x y1 will be equal to sin of x plus delta x where I am taking change as delta x small increment. So change in y now y1 minus y that is equal to sin of x plus delta x minus sin x this is change in y then change in x is that is delta x is delta x change in x is delta x so now what is dy by dx so expand this now change in y would be this one so that is sin a cos b there is sin x cos delta x plus cos x sin delta x minus sin x by dx is delta x. Now this is equal to. So as I told you delta x is almost 0. It is tending to 0. It is a very very small value. So cos delta x when delta x is tending to 0 cos delta x would be equal to 1 so that I can write it as sin x plus cos x uh, when sin delta x when delta x is tending to 0 this would be equal to what delta x so sin of theta where theta is very very small we can write it as sin theta can be written as theta so here sin delta x can be written as delta x minus sin x okay by delta x so now sin x sin x goes cos x delta x by delta x delta x delta x goes what we left with is cos sorry, cos x so dy by dx is equal to cos x where y is equal to Thank you.